Hey Glammies and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a skincare routine video and how I got rid of my acne because a lot of you guys have complimented my skin and some of you guys have even asked me like how did I get rid of my acne or how do I keep smooth skin? It's honestly a process and everybody has different skin but I'm just gonna tell you guys what worked the best for me. So let's get into this i'm gonna start by showing you guys my actual skincare routine and then i'm gonna go one by one and tell you why i use these products and what they're for while i'm doing the skin routine so let's start that now so i do my skincare routine in the shower and first i start by wetting my face just to get my skin soft and ready for all the products that i'm about to use on it and then i go in with my saint ives apricot scrub And what this does is it just deeply exfoli exfoliates the skin and reveals my smooth skin. And I use this first because usually I have on a face full of makeup. So this just helps get all the makeup off that my micellar water or that my simple skin cleansing wipes couldn't get off for me. So by starting with this, I'm making sure that my face is fresh so that when I cleanse it, I'm really getting a deep clean. Now I go in with my Clarisil Ultra Rapid Action Daily Face Watch, which has 2% Sicilic Acne medication in it. And I find that this helps get my skin super clear and soft. So I just leave this on for a total of 10 seconds. And I make sure to focus on my forehead and my neck and my nose because right now that's where I'm breaking out the most. And then after the 10 seconds, I just wipe it off. Well, wash it off <laughs> and move on to the next step. So now I'm going into my Holy Girl Combination, which is my The Four Time Rejuvenate Experience Face Brush and Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser with 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Treatment. Boy, was that a mouthful. But this acne treatment face wash is truly amazing. I use this every day. I used to use it twice a day when my acne was really bad, but now I just use it once a day because it is very strong if you have whiteheads i totally recommend this because it sucks out your whiteheads and dries it up and you literally see results the next day when you start using it and this face brush i use it to get all the makeup and everything out of my skin but i'm using it very lightly guys you don't want to break your skin up and you don't want to irritate your skin so i you guys don't even realize how light I'm pressing this on my skin to make sure that I'm not breaking the top layer of my skin. But this really makes my skin baby soft. Now I'm going in with this Pure Release Exfoliator. No, this is a treatment mask. And I'm just going to put this all over my face and let it sink in. This one kind of burns, so I don't know if like my skin didn't like it. But yeah, I always pat my face dry before I apply a mask. That way I don't have to wait forever and 30 years for it to dry. And then I just wash it. So for my skin, like my actual body skin, I'm using this back loafer scrubber. And it feels so amazing. I love this brush. It honestly has improved my shower by a hundred. It's like on a handle and it's also detachable and I just use this to get really deep into my skin and it really cleans off and rejuvenates my skin like it says. So I'm a Bath and Body Works sh um, shower gel junkie so I'm using the mango mandarin one and I'm just going to pour it all over the brush and relax and just scrub a stub dub away. So this is also detachable, so in a minute I'm going to detach it. And I'm so relaxed in the shower now because of this. It just feels so good. I wipe off my hands, my arms, my legs, everywhere with this brush. And if I want a deeper clean, I'll just unattach it from the handle and get to work. So that's it for my in the shower skin routine. So my routine for when I get out of the shower is I use my proactive mark correcting pads because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on the sides of my face and my forehead so I just focus on those areas. And then I go in with my tea tree oil and I use this as a spot treatment for the acne that I have active all around my face. And tea tree oil is very very strong so I literally just tilt the container, pour it over and then dot it on my troubled areas.
And then lastly, I use my Ole Complete All Day Moisturizer with sunscreen in it to moisturize my face. So a new product that I've been using that has really been improving the softness of my skin is this four times rejuvenate experience. It's like it's a four piece brush set that I got and it comes with a cognac spa cognac sponge, a loaf of back scrubber, a face scrubber, and like a back scrubber it's honestly an amazing piece and it's perfect for me because I'm in college and the showers are gross so I want to get out of there as quick as possible so I literally use this bad boy and just scrub all the dirt of my body really quick and sometimes we don't have hot water it be the struggle so I use this bad boy which is also detachable and I just get the job done really quick. I always feel like my skin is super smooth and soft. I've definitely noticed that my skin is feeling softer. I've been using this for like a week now and it has really improved the softness of my skin because I have really dry skin in the winter and I recommend you guys purchase this because why not treat yourself in the shower like you guys will see in the video. It just relaxes my whole entire body brush in this whole set is the face brush so I used to use the Clarisonic if you guys see my previous skincare how to get rid of acne routine that's what I used in that video and I stopped using it because I noticed that it was breaking me out more than it was keeping my face clean and fresh if I feel like the Clarisonic harbors so much bacteria and it's really gross I noticed that it started to mold when I didn't use it for a while so I threw that out because it would it wasn't benefiting my skin anymore but this brush is very, very, very good. But I have to warn you guys, when you first get it, it is hard as a mofo. If you don't know what mofo is, you could guess. That joint is so hard. Like I put it on my skin and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I know this ain't a face brush. I know they don't want me to use this on my face. But after you wet it and you get product on it, you soften it on the back of your hand and use a really light touch, it is deep cleansing. This helps me get all the makeup off of my skin. And that was one of the number one reasons that I had acne is because I left so much makeup in my skin. Even though I was washing my face two to three times after I would take my makeup off, I wasn't using the right products to really get deep down and into those pores to let the makeup out. That's one thing that I notice about my skin is I have huge pores. The reason why I never noticed this before is because they were always clogged with makeup so I would never see them. But now, since my face is always fresh and clean, I can really see that my pores are huge and open. <laughs> so now like it brought it like it brought attention to the type of skin that I have. So this brush is life. So I definitely recommend this kit to you guys to buy. I believe it was $23.95. So it's super cheap. It's beneficial. It comes with four different things. I haven't really used the loafer because, I don't know, I just don't really think I need to use it. and Or the foot scrub because I'm in college and we wear flip-flops in the shower. When I go home, I'll definitely try the foot scrub out. But for now, at school, I don't want my foot anywhere near none of the dirty nastiness of the floor. So I haven't used that one. I'm gonna give you guys five tips. My first tip is keep your skin clean. Keep your skin clean. That is my biggest, biggest tip ever. You want to make sure that you cleanse, exfoliate, and moisturize your skin. That is step two. By doing all those three steps, you will also keep your skin clean and it will show a much, much bigger difference in your acne. Before, when people would like touch my face a lot of people would like to touch me and like all the dirt and bacteria from off their hands would get into my pores because i have big pores like i told you guys and it would instantly break me out and people would wonder why i would tell them don't touch my face i don't even touch my face it's just not good for your skin i'm telling you if you guys can avoid stopping to like touch your face every two seconds picking your pimples don't pick your pimples advice number three don't do it. You will get left with so much discoloration. Like, discoloration is my struggle now, and I'm working on improving it. But, like, you see my forehead? I had 
severe acne on my forehead for about two years and now it's a completely different shade than the rest of my face because I used to pick the pimples on my forehead and they scarred over so now my forehead is darker you can literally see a line of demarcation let me see if I can zoom up on you see you can literally see my eyebrows this is where the acne would stop and then all up here I would have like a bunch of pimples and it was so frustrating I hated it but now it's clearer as you can see right now I still have a couple breakouts but now my breakouts are mostly from like stress and hormones like it depends on the time of the month what what type of breakouts that I get and I'll also explain that to you guys you can be breaking out because your skin is dirty you can be breaking out because of like the environment that you're in like if you're in a new environment I know when I go to Europe, I break out like a monster because it's like a different air. Everything's cleaner and fresher over there and I guess my skin is used to dirty New Yorkers <laughs> air and pollution. So basically, even a change of environment can make your skin break out. Or it could be you leaving on your makeup too long, you don't remove all your makeup at night. And the last reason can be hormones. A lot of stubborn, stubborn acne is hormonal. And the way that you get rid of that is you can get on birth control, you can go to your dermatologist. And for me, I went to my dermatologist and he prescribed tretinoid for me. This is tretinoid, it comes in a little tube. At first, I was using the highest prescription of tretinoid that he could give for acne, for my acne, because it was that stubborn and it still was not going away. But as time went on, he started lowering the doses. My acne was getting better and better and better. But just know that this is really the last resort because this is so harsh on your skin. It makes your skin peel and flake and dry. Sometimes your skin will be irritated and red. So. If you're really serious about getting rid of your acne, go to the dermatologist and he can give you something like this. Now what I like to use instead of like chemical products is tea tree oil. So this is the tea tree oil that I use and it's just Cocoa Nature 100% tea tree oil. And I think this is that it was $7, but I'm pretty sure you can find cheaper versions of it. Tea tree oil is also known as Metaluca oil and it's just amazing. It has been helping me with my dark spots so much. What I do is I literally just dot it like this on the back of my hand and then I just apply it to the little spots that I need it as like a spot treatment. And that's all you need treat me, treat, tea tree oil for is a spot treatment because this thing is so strong. You can smell it from a mile away. Please do not burn your skin because you're using too much tea tree oil. In the beginning when I was using tea tree oil, I would even dilute it with water because depending on the sensitivity of your skin, this can burn your skin if you're using 100% tea tree oil. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind and know that like it's a process. Everything's a process. You have to know your skin and part of knowing your skin is getting to know it, trying things out seeing if things work, seeing if things fail, and it's honestly a fun but very frustrating process, but in the end, it will pay off. You'll be like, pew, pew, pew. You'll go outside not feeling like you have to wear makeup. Even though when I have acne, I don't want to wear makeup at all because I'm like, it's not smooth, so what's the point? But some people have acne and they don't want to put makeup. They want to only wear makeup because they don't want anyone to see their discoloration or their flaws or whatever. But at the end of the day, we need to embrace our skin and we need to love our skin. The biggest tips that I can just give you guys to let it set in is to keep your skin clean. Stop touching your face. Remove your makeup properly. Exfoliate, moisturize, cleanse. Do a mask once in a while because it doesn't really make sense to exfoliate your face if you're not using a mask to pull everything out of your pores. A mask you should be doing at least once a week face brush or a Clarisonic or any of those cleaning devices work for you that's good you should use one of those I totally recommend it but if not your hands work perfectly fine just make sure that you're gently massaging everything into your skin and you're taking your time I do 30 seconds on my forehead because it's my most problematic spot 10 seconds on my chin 10 seconds on my nose and 10 seconds each on my cheeks because my cheeks are very sensitive so <laughs> I don't want to go too ham on them so that's basically it.
hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I got rid of my acne and some of the things, tips and trips that really helped me out. So yeah, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment, like, and subscribe what you guys want to see. Let me know what helped you guys get rid of your acne, what products you guys are loving, because I love to hear comments and feedbacks from you guys. Have a good day.